G'day fellas. Welcome to the Commerce Age Federal States Overview video. If you haven't already, be sure to check out the first two videos in this series before watching this one, as they introduce a lot of the mechanics that I'm going to be referring to. Before we get into it, if you're wanting to see full details on any of the age updates that you see here in this video, I've created a Discord channel specifically for the United States that you can use as a reference. I'll leave a link in the description to the Discord if you're interested in joining it so you can see that information. Now, let's get into it. Federal states replace age up politicians for the United States and provide a number of different bonuses. Each federal state provides an immediate bonus upon age up called an age up bonus. These are often tangible, such as wood crates from the quartermaster or an outpost wagon from the governor. In addition to providing tangible age up bonuses, each federal state that you elect to make part of your union will unlock two unique cards for you in that game. In this video, we'll take a look at the commerce age federal states as these will be the first states that you'll meet in game. I'll be examining each state one at a time, so if you're interested in hearing my thoughts regarding a specific state, I've left timestamps in the description below. So, let's get to it. All right, fellas, so just before we get into looking at the states, we'll just take a quick look at the home city. Now, I will show you these unique cards once we get there, but you can see that the, the home city for the United States uh, does have a separate row. Now, this is where your federal cards are going to appear. So as uh, with the United States, as you go through the ages, your age ups are going to give you federal cards. So you can see here when we when we look to age up, we're going to elect to bring a federal state on board with our union. We've got 10 different federal cards potentially that we could add depending on which state we go with. So we've got five states that we can elect to be part or to join our union. We've uh, In the commerce age, we've got Massachusetts, Virginia, Delaware, Pennsylvania and Rhode Island. Now, each state is uh, probably best at doing a certain strategy. And it's a... Uh, so, if, if you were going to say, all right, I want to do a water strategy, I want to do a water boom, then you definitely want to take Rhode Island. You wouldn't want to take any of these other guys. And the reason why, if we take a, a look at Rhode Island, so we've got Caller Steam Engine. So, it grants earlier access to steam power. Trading routes can be upgraded to railroads for free in any age. So, very much like the Portuguese House of Braganza. And docks may construct steamers and ironclads one age earlier than usual. So steamers and ironclads, steamers available in age three, now available in age two, ironclads available in age four, now available in, in age three. So something to think about. Um, and, uh, and in addition to that, they've also got Slater Textile Mill. So settlers and fishing boats are cheaper. So if you're thinking about doing a water boom, definitely uh, Rhode Island is the play. They also got that outpost wagon. Now, if you're playing Treaty, you might be thinking a bit more about Massachusetts. Uh, very famous treaty cards are things like uh, thoroughbreds for the French and fur trade. And for the United States, they get the Boston Tea Party. So Boston Tea Party deposits 350 coin and exchanges all your current food for 25% more coin. So if you're playing treaty, you're probably going to be wanting to put all of your villages or most of your villages on food and then send the Boston Tea Party at about 37 minutes, then get all your upgrades in. And you probably got, you know, 150,000 coin or something like that. And then you've got all your villages on food. But we'll get into that in a later video. In addition to that, they've also got Plymouth Settlers, which ships 300 food and a native scout. And all existing town centers spawn three pilgrims. So the pilgrim is just kind of like a normal settler, except that uh, I think it's got a little bit more health. I haven't actually played around with this card yet, but I am planning to do a video on treaty. My very first video on treaty with the United States as well. So keep an eye out for that one. So next up would be Virginia. So Virginia, in my opinion, is targeting at a, a fast fortress. So costing 800 food to go up, getting the military wagon once you age up your federal cards. So the first one is the Culpeper Minutemen. So they arrive fast. So your normal shipment takes 40 seconds to arrive. This one takes five seconds. Very, very, very quick. All existing town centers spawn six Minutemen. So if you're in age three, I guess that would, and you've got three town centers up, that's 18 Minutemen. That's a fair amount of Minutemen. And keep in mind, Minutemen for the United States are very, very, very strong. So they retain the hit points for 75% longer as well. On top of that, they've also got the card Virginia General Assembly. So this one's going to take a little bit of explaining. If I'm, I'm not going to get into detail about it in this video, but I will say uh, if you do want to know more about it, I'm going to be doing a build order guide for Virginia, which is going to be looking at a fast fortress. So this ships one state capital wagon and makes the next upgrade research at the state capital free. So the state capital is a complex building. I'm probably going to need an entire video just about the state capital. That's how complicated it is, but uh, it, it is a definitely targeted more towards a fast fortress. And then we've got Delaware. So Delaware was the first state to join the union. And as a result, it's given 700 food age up cost instead of 800 because they're just that little bit faster. 
Also, crates of 200 food when you arrive. So a little bit similar to the Philosopher Prince in that the Philosopher Prince gives 500 food. This gives 200 food. But keep in mind, you get those two extra federal cards. So the federal cards that you've got for Delaware, Fertile Lowlands, ships six semi-fattened cows and two homestead wagons. And Delaware Blues ships an additional regular for each shipment you have sent so far this game. So if you've shipped eight, uh, you know, eight shipments, then it sends eight regulars. Regulars being the backbone of the of the uh, the military of the United States. So definitely nothing to sniff at, especially because this is available as soon as you hit H2, you can send this. So it can be quite a powerful shipment. Now, this card here has got quite some good synergy with the German town, uh, or with the, the German town farmers, I was going to say, with the German immigrants. So the German immigration card uh, that we spoke about in the prior video, this offers you two homestead wagons. So equivalent to two farms. So this could technically be, it's like a six semi fattened cows, two homestead wagons and two settler wagons as well. So definitely a lot going on here. And then finally, Pennsylvania. Now, Pennsylvania is a, I would say this is more of an age two focused uh, state. So if you're going to want to be spending a lot of time in age two, probably want to be taking Pennsylvania. It gives you an outpost. It costs, costs 800 food to age up. The federal cards, so you've got Pe Philadelphia Convention. So it ships one meeting house and provides your meeting house with unique federal state improvements to research. So the meeting house, think of it as the church for the United States. Okay, so, and it provides a meeting house wagon and also gives you that. So this Philadelphia Convention is kind of the, the unique church card for the United States. So you've got the Pennsylvania Pound, which is a trickle of coin. You've got the first Pennsylvania Rifles, which is a whole bunch of sharpshooters, which are like the really good skirmisher units for the United States. And then you've got Pennsylvania Cavalry, which is the rifle, or not, not the rifle riders, uh, the Carbine Cavalry. I love that they've got the alliteration going on, the Rifle Riders, the Carbine Cavalry. It, it ships uh, Carbine Cavalry, uh, and they both cost food. Then the second card uh, that we've got for Pennsylvania is Tamani Festival. Ships one native embassy, Trevoir, and allies you with the Cray at your native embassy, where some of their upgrades and units are available. The Cray are considered, in my opinion, the only S-tier native civilization. You can literally take them in any situation. And the fact that you get to ally with them every single game is ridiculously crazy. I love that. Pennsylvania is definitely becoming one of my states. I'm definitely relying on it a lot when I'm not looking to fast fortress with Virginia. When I'm planning to spend a little bit longer in the second age, I'm always going for Pennsylvania. Uh, but that is on the condition that I can't boom uh, with, uh, with my Delaware and with my German immigrants. Uh, but I'm going to be covering every single one of these commerce age federal states in a separate build order video. So if you'd like to see the very first video, which we're going to be looking at is Virginia, which is going to be a semi-fast fortress strategy, then you can uh, wait till the end of the video. It'll come up with a little uh, link on your screen. Other than that, each one of these states is going to be included uh, in a separate build order video. And as I mentioned, I'm going to be doing a treaty video as well, because I know there's, there's a lot of treaty fans on the channel. So we'll be doing a treaty video. We'll be doing a fast fortress build. We'll be doing a big boy boom. We'll be doing an age two play with Pennsylvania. And then we'll be do looking at doing some water play with Rhode Island and maybe even some trading post play as well. But other than that, fellas, I hope that you've enjoyed the video. You can click the link on the screen right now. That'll take you through to the Virginia uh, build order. I guess we'd call it the, Vir the Virginia game. So I'm uh, uh, demonstrating the Virginia build, what it looks like, where we, we do take a look at the state capital wagon and what the state, uh, state capital can actually do. If you've enjoyed the video, I encourage you to like the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.